Yo, what's up, galera? This video is going to be a little bit different. Usually, I make videos in Portuguese for Brazilians. This video is going to be in English for people that want to visit Brazil, people that have never visited Brazil, so they can get a better idea of what Brazil is really like. Of course, this video is only a couple minutes, so it's a very brief summary, but I think a few tips here you will find useful on your trip to Brazil. For Americans, Canadians, and Japanese citizens, you no longer need visas, so it's a great time to come visit Brazil. Take advantage of all the cool stuff this beautiful country has to offer. I've visited many countries, and Brazil is my favorite. The culture is exciting. The weather, wow, it's just amazing. But there are some things you should avoid. Brazilians, feel free to correct anything I missed and share this with your gringo friend who wants to visit Brazil. First thing, don't speak Spanish. They do not speak Spanish. Brazilians were colonized by the Portuguese. The whole country speaks Portuguese. Instead of asking, hablas inglés? Say, fala inglés? Or hasta luego? No, no, no. Até logo. Y no es gracias, es obrigado for a man and obrigada if you are a woman. Okay, the next thing, you often hear Brazilians criticize Brazil. Some of their criticisms are valid, some are exaggerations, and some are just ridiculous. But just because you hear Brazilians talking bad about Brazil does not mean you can talk bad about Brazil. I learned this one. Brazilians will say many things. You'll see them in the comments, but you should avoid saying negative things about Brazil. They will turn on you in a second. It's kind of like your family. Like, yeah, you can talk about your family, but other people can't talk bad about your family. Does that make sense? Don't ask if they walk around the beaches topless. There are a few nude beaches in the country, just like there are some nude beaches in the United States, but it's illegal in most places to walk around topless. In Europe, I think it can be fairly common in certain places, but in Brazil, it is not. But you should show a little more skin than you're accustomed to in the United States. The bikinis and the sungas, which are the male kind of speedo, are very common. Well, it actually depends on the city, but you're very likely to see them. Speaking of cities, don't assume Brazil is just Rio and Sao Paulo. I've spent a lot of time in both those cities. They're incredible cities, but the country is a huge country. It's the size of a continent. They have various different types of landscapes, architecture. They have beach. They have colonial cities. You should check out Bonito. It's a swamp land. It's beautiful. I've actually never been there, so it's on my list. The Amazon is wonderful. Down south, the culture is a little bit different. And there's a lot of regionalism too, so be careful when you're talking about one city over another because that can get you into some arguments. It's basically best to avoid talking about religion, soccer teams, and what else? And politics, yeah, don't, don't talk about those things. Don't throw toilet paper in the toilets. Yes, generally there's a little trash can on the side of the toilets where you throw the toilet paper. Most toilets cannot handle toilet paper and they will get clogged. So if you see a little trash bin on the side with kind of smelly toilet paper, yeah, that's actually pretty normal. And if you throw the toilet paper in the toilet, it will get clogged. A few exceptions, some places have better plumbing than others, but that's a general rule. Don't slam the car door. Americans, wow, like when they're in Ubers, they just really just slam the car doors. People will get mad at you and they'll like, you'll make them pretty angry. So generally Brazilians shut the car door very gently. Just a little tip. Most Americans don't even realize they did something rude because the guy yells at them in Portuguese, but I've noticed. An important rule, the beer has to be very, very cold. It's offensive if you give someone a beer that's warm. They just like won't accept it. So like, you might think it's cold, but it needs to be even colder than you think. And generally beer, if you go to a bar, you'll buy it in like a 600 milliliter bottle with little cups. They're actually called Copos Americanos, American cups, which is kind of funny because I've never seen them in the United States. And you should always pour your friend's beer before yours. So if you're, if there's three people and you're about to pour some beer for yourself, it's customary to report your friend's beer first. If not, you look kind of rude. And then at the end of the night, generally, if you're going to a club or even some bars, you'll get a consumption card or a commanda. And you don't want to lose that because they're checking off what you bought. And if you lose that, they might try to charge you a lot of money at the end of the night. If you have some Portuguese skills, you can usually get your way out of it, but try not to lose that card or you might get yourself into some problems. Other things to avoid, like don't get into taxis that don't have meters. I made that mistake once, believe me, they'll try to get you. As far as tipping, it's not really customary, but sometimes you'll see a 10% service charge. That's just included in the bill. But I mean, if you tip, no one's gonna be offended. It's not like Japan where tipping can be offensive. Brazil, if you wanna tip, go ahead, but it's, it's not mandatory. But you will usually see like a 10% service fee. This one's more for single guys traveling. Don't mm -hmm. treat Brazil like a sex tourism country. It is a very complicated country. In one sense, Brazilians are very liberal and open and free with their bodies. But in another sense, it's a very conservative country. And I've seen a lot of gringos that just kind of, just assume just for being gringos that the girl is gonna want them. So just, you know, be respectful. We respect the ladies out there. And on the other aspect, other side of that, so Brazil men usually make two mistakes. Either they are way too aggressive and assume that all girls want them just because they have an American passport. But then I've seen the, the other side where Americans are a little too slow to get the point when a girl is interested in them. So like, if you see the girl like, mexendo com a cabelo, te olhando, te dando um pouco de mole, vai lá falar com ela. Don't waste too much time if you do think the girl is, is interested in you. You will see a lot of kissing in restaurants, even like at lunchtime. It's a very kissing culture. It's not very uncommon. And that might not lead to anything else. That might just be a kiss, but it's pretty
pretty common to see kissing down there. So if, you, if a girl is interested in you and you're talking to her and you're getting all the right signals, don't be afraid to try your luck. But some people want to speak to with respect. Okay, showing your valuables. Now I'm not gonna get into the security problems with Brazil. There are some, it definitely depends on where you're going. It also depends on what time you're going and what time of the year, like a carnival season, will have higher pickpocket incidents and also like alone and late at night, it's like just not a good idea. Take Uber, be safe, don't bring anything valuable. I've been there for three years, I lost one cell phone because I was being stupid on the beach. I took a nap on the beach with my cell phone out. That's just like asking for problems during carnival. So that was my fault. Il de moli, I made it easy for them. But generally speaking, be smart. Don't bring out things you don't want to lose. Don't show your wealth. Don't flash money around with watches, iPhone. You can bring your iPhone maybe, but don't bring out your I, like iWatch, all that stuff. Just, just leave it home. You're here to enjoy good conversations, a nice beer at the bar, but don't get carried away bringing around too much stuff. Just be safe. As far as visiting the favelas, people will give you different advice on this. First of all, the favelas are places where people live. So it's just a normal community. It happens to be lower income community. You'll see them on the hills. There are problems with violence depending on which favela you're talking about. You know, some are relatively pacified, some are very dangerous, and this could change day to day. So really you gotta treat that with caution. Don't treat it like a tourist destination because it's a place where people live. It's a place where people make their living, they work. So, you know, treat that area with respect. I visited a few. One in, is Vigigal in, in Rio, and it's kind of actually a pretty touristy, not so touristy, I mean, it's people are living there, but they have built some attractions to attract tourism. And that one's pretty safe to go, but you know, pay attention to the what's going on day to day in the news. And then I went with my friend to teach an English class. He works with a nonprofit organization. And this fellow is Complexo de Alemão. I wouldn't recommend going there by yourself. So if you wanna go, go with a friend, maybe go with an organization. And if you're gonna take a local tour, try to take one with someone that's from the community, someone that's actually trying to give back to the community. Cause there's also some people that just try to come in and take advantage of the fact that people want to visit the favela and they don't actually do anything to help the favela. So that was pretty quick video. I mean, there's so many more things I could cover. I know my audience is mostly Brazilian, so you know, just trying to give a little hint because I made a video a couple weeks in Harvard, one of the best universities, and they didn't even know the capital of Brazil, which was Brasilia. So do a little homework, you know, find some fun facts. Just read the Wikipedia page. That's really all you have to do to be 100% better than the average gringo. I mean, obviously try to st study more, learn the history. It's a great country that I've pretty much lived there for the last three years. Hope to be back soon. And uh, oh, don't forget to enjoy the beers, enjoy the caipirinhas, but drink a lot of water, use sunblock. It's hot down there. Protect your skin, protect your skin. Atemais, see you next time. Peace.